Hi, welcome YouTubers. Thanks for watching this video. So this is my what sold week for 328 through 43 2021. And I call this the growing pains edition because I have seen uh, an increase. This week wasn't that great, which I was really surprised seeing it's the end of the month and we are halfway through like, you know, the end of the month, people get paid at the end of the month and then a Friday as well. But then there's also their spring break and then there's Easter and people were going out of town a lot. So there's all sorts of reasons why people's sales don't end, don't end the way that they want them to at the end of the week. Now, this is my growing pains edition because there are a lot of issues that happened this week. Part of it wasn't anything that I did, just part of reselling. And other things are things that actually did happen to me that were actually due to my fault. And that's just not paying attention getting a little bit tired, getting a little bit fatigued. But this is not a clickbait. I'm not gonna show you a bunch of stuff and then 20 minutes later, I'll show you what actually happened. And I actually decided to do this in a different format this week. Instead of kind of going through and showing things, I just took a picture and then I put it on the slide and I told you what the price was. So I figured that would be much easier to do and kind of try to do them in different categories. I did not have any sales on Poshmark. I think I had one sell on Facebook Marketplace that's getting a little bit saturated. There's a lot of people, a lot more people on it, which is great. You know, everybody should have deserved the opportunity to make money, but of course it makes you sad, right? But anyways, so here we go. So the first set of stuff I do, I do have a reseller certificate and um, I have an LLC. So I do get to wholesale food. Usually it's like candy and stuff. And be my the Jelly Belly Bean Boozles are the things that I sell the most of. Now the price is pretty low because there is a lot of competition and these are on, I have some videos about what I did about these Jelly Belly Bean Boozles. And um, I remember when I first started to sell them about a year ago, the price was 11, I was selling like 11 something. And one of my accounts have it at nine, but I'm trying to get some, some motivation, some velocity and some of my smaller accounts. So I've got these pretty low. I think I'm probably the, the lowest and the second lowest, but I did sell these for $7 and 76 cents. All my items are free shipping. And I'll tell you again, it became a really big problem this week. I also sold these Tezos iced tea women grass and they came in um four and and someone bought all four of them and they spent 850 per per um box these over here were these uh these little swirly lollipop things that people had i, I had them um and they, they were just kind of slow sellers and then my first my first uh what did, what did i call it growing pains um, I think I, I think I might have sold, maybe this was my last one or maybe, yeah, this was my last one. I sold one of these. This was my last one. And the buyer reached out to me on Saturday and she said, oh, um, requesting a refund because it was leaking. I was like, oh, it's tea bags. What are you talking about? So I emailed her and anything, every time this happens, y'all, and you're talking to somebody, don't make the assumption that they're trying to scam me or something. Because there always could be something that I do because there, I sell them in an individual box and I make like a little cardboard box around it to keep the price low. And I reached out to her and I said, can you give me a little bit more? Was the package come damaged, etc.?" And she said, no, the package didn't come damaged. Actually, the um, cast making noise in the background that she said the three of the bags were busted and the tea had spilled out. Now, I don't do returns on food products because I want to maintain standards. And if you get a food product from me, you know that it came from the distributor and I, I and I sent those out. And so you, you don't get like a return or anything like that. So I just refunded her the whole amount of money. I could have refunded her half. She initially asked for a replacement, but that was literally the only box. And I don't do that. It's just, hey, if, it, if it's busted, I'll just give you the money back. For $9.31, of course, I paid the shipping on it. Um, so that was the first growing pains. It happens. Not my fault. Um, but it's not worth you know, asking for it. And, you know, if I do have da, 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 you know, it's just it's just easier just to just to just to let just to let it go and, and move on is $9.31. There's better things to work on. 
Okay, the next one, it's um, and I pay and those and those items, I actually pay um the the, the wholesale distributor. So those aren't those aren't free or anything like that. These are things I actually pay for. Now these uh, three things are um, the crafting or some type of supply goods. So the first one is these elastic uh, cords. <laughs> so I got these not too soon after COVID. Once people started making their own face mask, I ordered them and they didn't come. Hair's kind of doing something funky. <laughs> okay. So when COVID first came out and people were starting to make their, their face mask, I went and got these in these cords and they got lost in transit. And so I got my money back and then they arrived and I reached out to the place that I got it from and they're like, no, just keep it, don't worry about it. I said, okay. Now, here's the problem. The best place for these to sell are on Etsy because people are using them to make stuff. The issue is, is that Etsy is really weird and that it's almost like if you, it's like big buyers get everything and then you try to snag the last bits of stuff if you have something. So I first started with these at 10 yards because that's what everybody else was selling them at. And then, I mean, they just wouldn't sell. I mean, it was the exact same product. I maybe even had it a couple pennies more and they wouldn't sell. So I bumped it up. I bumped the price up just a tad and changed it to 15 yards. And then I listed them on eBay. So I haven't even had that many sales on on Etsy for something that was meant for Etsy. I've probably sold more on Facebook and eBay. And I think I've even sold some on Mercari. And I think I had an order on on on, on Etsy. So that's just sort of how Etsy works. It's just it's just one of those weird things. This next one is these um I got these at goodwill.com auction and this is um a sewing pattern and those are those are, are selling pretty good i probably are able to list a few a week and i'll sell about one one or so a week the next one is a uh, supply i got this from ally express and these are little um molds and i said to myself you know molds actually do pretty well i might actually try to figure out how to make them myself and the only bad thing about it is of course is these other AliExpress, those sellers are also on Etsy and eBay and such. So you really can't charge what you would normally charge. The the really sort of the high. I should have been able to charge $15, $16 for these. But they're on there. And people, people are like, well, I'll wait 30, 30 days, 60 days for it. So they're paying a little bit more. I mean, really, you are paying a lot more to get it in three, five days versus 30 to 60 days. But... You know that's not what they see but i have these and that one that one sold on etsy and these are the books that i sold and here is my second growing pains that i went through and i just wanted to show you which ones were doing some of these were at full price others were were i took offers i think i took offers on at like a lady i think that was the only one i took an offer on i think everyone else paid whatever the price is books now the the issue with books is that um there some of the i think it was i i researched ebay top sellers on um on the internet and like there was like a list of 10 of them and you know what the top 10 people that are the top sellers on ebay what they sell books and the top sellers list every book for three dollars and 97 cents and so it gets really hard to compete because they're they're not paying two dollars and 89 cents for media mail they're paying a dollar and they can beat you out on the price really beat you out on the price so you just kind of have to wait it out and these people don't have 20 copies you know two copies of stuff they have 300 copies of books so yeah, i keep trucking along you know the books sell okay just wish that it was a little bit a little bit better that i wasn't competing with somebody who was was so large and who really takes the price on everything uh, like I said um, the problem growing pains just got this email um, like right before I, I did this video 
and it was this Fifty Shades Darker. Now, what happened is I've got a lot of books that I pulled from Amazon Inventory, FBA, and they've got the code on there. And I use software that tells me that, okay, this is this book, but then I have to just double check and pull up the UPC code to match it up with eBay. And um, when, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll put Fifty Shades Darker and then like if it's a really popular book on like therapy or just look it up and I'll pull the, the ISBN number off of there. I pulled the wrong ISBN number. I pulled the hard copy and not the soft copy. So they sent me an email and they said, hey, you, we, we thought this was the hard copy. You sent me the soft copy. And I was like, no, I didn't. And I looked again before you freak out and like jump on your customers. Stop, stop to yourself and say, let me double check and it make a mistake. And sure enough, I did. Before I wrote them back, I said I would probably send them something and that I, I don't have the hard copy. So I sent them an email. I apologize. I'm so sorry. You're right. I remember sending you this book. My options are this. You can return it to me for a full refund or you can keep it. I'll give you 50%. And they decided. And they were nice. They said, we understand. Mistakes happen. We'll take the free fund. So um, it happens, you know. But growing pains, mistake. I, I usually do check and I thought I checked, but this was probably the one that I just happened to not check to make sure that because they all look the same the hard copy and the soft copy because you can tell these are just stock photos they look exactly the same and so it's not until you actually read the description and I must have missed one you know that's what happens you get tired these two weren't too bad so this was probably my pretty good sales for this week this one was a Warhammer. It was a two set book, two or three set book. I got them off of a liquidation. And this one, where do I get it from? Um, I got these liquidations off of 888 lots and they do Amazon liquidations and they do other things, Dollar Tree and all sorts of other stuff. Now with 888 lots, you do have to have um, a reseller certificate. And so that makes it a little bit better um, a little less competition, the quality, they do give you an invoice, a manifest, it's, it's, and the men, and, and the liquidations, like, they do need some work on their packing, but most of the time, the stuff that you get is, is spot on, and I got both of these from there, and this one was, I accepted an offer, I think I had it listed maybe 75, it wasn't brand new, it was already open, so I couldn't get the brand new price, and this one wasn't too long. It was it was maybe a week or two after I posted it. So I accepted that offer. And I sent word of caution that another thing that happened was with a book. There was another book that I talked about last week that I sold that um, it arrived damaged. And the problem was it was partly my partly partially my fault because I should have boxed it. And instead I made a box because it was just like this weird thing. And I thought I'd ship it priority. I thought flipping shipping a, like a flat rate envelope, but it was just, it was like wide, but because it was $50 and because this one's 60 and they're heavy, they were $5 anyways, three more bucks is priority. Now I'm glad I did because it came damaged. So I'm waiting on that claim to go through. This one actually fit into um, a UPS, a UPS box, UPS box that I have. So I went ahead and sipped that and sipped it priority. And that's what I did. The felt flowers. This one was, I think I may accepted an offer. I think it was listed for 23 on Amazon. I listed it for 25. And then it was listed on Walmart for maybe 17. And I figured 23, 17, 20 bucks. And that was fine. And that one was, if that was, uh, if that was overnight, that was, that was about as fast as it, it, it went through. And it's just a little tiny little book. That one just got sent through media mail. That was just a tiny little book about how to make flowers. This one is a little bit, this one demonstrates to you all about the, the, the essence of how pictures make the difference. So this one was, um, a, it was like a Tommy Co knee pads. And I had had these things. These are probably, I probably had them listed for almost a year. 
Oh no, gosh, I listed them all over the place, kept messing with the pricing and the description, and finally I just redid the pictures. And in less than two weeks, they sold. So if you feel, and this one on the left is the updated picture, and this one on the right is the crappy picture that I took when I first did this, when I first started and didn't know what the heck I was doing. Therefore, if you if you feel like, oh, it doesn't matter what the picture does, yeah, it does, because people, it does make a difference, and it, it would have never sold if I didn't have changed the picture. Growing Pains, <laughs> part four, five, whatever this is. Okay, you see these nice, the 673 is, is, okay. Now, here's the good thing about this. Besides these shoes, none of the stuff I bought, these were all donated. This was new with tags, this little tunic. And the problem with the tunic was I could not tell if it was black or dark blue. I would hold it up to stuff. I'm like, I think it's, I think it's dark blue, but I put on the description. I said it may be black. I don't know. I really try to hold it up to stuff. Certain lights will look dark blue. Other lights will look black. So I just said it was dark blue. This one is, it was just like two little Spongebob uh, shirt and a hoodie that I just put, pulled together. Now here is the problem with these two. These two weren't selling. This was a Talbot's, I think that's how you say it, pants. They were like bright red orange. And these were Life Strike shoes. And they weren't selling and selling and selling and selling. I took pictures and pictures. I probably could have took better pictures here. This was, if I had just used my iPad and used Photo Room, it would have been better. But these were, you know, it happens when you first get started. And so I decided to put it on auction. And this is the reason why you do not put things on 99 cent auctions with free shipping and hope that they will sell. That was never my intention, never my intention. I always had the price of the shipping included. Now what happens is, is when I'm cross-listing using Sellbrite to go from my, um, maybe from, from, from different things and, and such. So I'll have like books and inventory and I'm like, they're on Amazon. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna cross post them onto here. The, the business policies don't match. And so I'll go back through when I'm cleaning up the business policy just because I like it to be cleaned up. And when I did, I wasn't paying attention and I removed all of them that had the shipping cost on them. So when I realized what happened and I said, wait a minute, these shouldn't be free shipping. I went to change it and I couldn't. Why? Because there were bids on them and I could have canceled it, but I'm trying to get top rated seller. And if I get a cancellation, that means that, and I've already had to cancel a few items because of growing pains, things happen. But unfortunately, eBay does not allow you to make too many mistakes. And their, and their evaluation is over an entire year. And it's like 0.05%, some crazy amount. Like I have to sell like 100 items in order to get it down to the level without canceling any orders. So I'm at the mercy of this. So they sold and I just went ahead and, and sent them off. Totally, totally missed, you know, made no money. I paid them to take it. But at the same time, you know, I, they didn't, they didn't, I didn't pay for it. It wasn't from my personal collection. I didn't have any sentimental value to it. And, um, you know, they're out the door and they were, they were taking a while anyways, but don't do auctions without shipping on them. Just, just don't. Unless you unless you got some magic ball that you know it's going to sell, you know, that you know it's going to sell, someone can go buy it from you. Now, this also makes a point where you might, at the end of the day or throughout the day, start looking at auctions and see if you can find idiots like me. <laughs> I didn't, shouldn't say idiots. You find people who make a huge mistake and sell stuff for basically nothing. I mean... I could, should have kept it. I could have used that sweater. But anyways, I think that's the I think that's the last one growing pain that I got. Okay, these right here. This is a Wyman glass cooktop. Those have been doing pretty well. I have that. And I have some like mouse pads. I got the mouse pads from those are free. 
But these were the most from 888 lots. Just, you know, just thought, eh, might as well. I think it was a couple bucks on top of it. I think I spent like two bucks on them. They're not bad to ship. I think it's maybe seven dollars. Um, so if someone pays fifteen, you know, it's maybe seven. You know, it's not like a big five dollars. Sometimes, sometimes five dollars is all right. But sometimes you just need a hit. Like reselling is like a hit. Like you, and the and the hit is the sale and the get. Everything else in between is like the going around trying to find the drug. But it's the finding the item getting it and then when it sells those are your hits everything else so yeah you know, sometimes I'm like I just want something new in my store and so I sold one of these on um, Macari for ten dollars and I sold the other one for $14.99 the second one this one was also from 888 lots and what they were they were huge zip ties like they were huge zip ties they were heavy they were like two pounds worth or some crazy amount of number and, but they were heavy duty zip ties and I had them on eBay, had them on eBay, eBay, nothing worked, Macari, Facebook, nothing worked. And I said to myself, you know what? This is a supply. I put it on Etsy and it's sold on Etsy. You can sell supplies. And if somebody's like, well, what kind of supply are you talking about? Well, you know, if you have something really heavy and you need to put them two together, maybe an adhesive or you need to tie them. If you've ever put Ikea furniture together by your doggone self, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It works kind of like an extra hand where you could just zip tie something together. Maybe you need something strong to hold something while uh, adhesive sets. If you're making furniture, are you making some kind of art or something like that? And therefore I put it on Etsy and it sold. So don't, don't discount Etsy, but don't just throw anything on there. Like I wouldn't put like, back clips on there you know I mean like unless I made them I'm like yeah it's a supply but how is it a supply to really make something you can use these to make something to make furniture to put things together maybe you have um, items that need to be held together in the shipping process and these are those types of things so think through to yourself that you know if you're going to do that route the other one was the oyster knife. These were, these took a while. I got these at Kroger. And if you don't know what Kroger is, like Kroger, Publix, this is a grocery store. And I was visiting one of my friends and they had a clearance rack and I, I took all of them that were in there. And they were 90 cents, 99 cents or a dollar. So um, had them a little bit higher and then and eventually went back down. It's just people just don't need oysters. I mean, who gets live oysters to open them up? But, you know, somebody did. The next two, uh, and another growing pains. So these two were bought off of, one was bought off of Wish. A while ago a long time ago it's been just sitting in the house and I said well I might as well sell them it was one of those like you paid like maybe it was like free you paid the shipping or something like that or they threw it in for free so it was maybe a dollar and their fashion jewelry it was actually not too bad it was kind of big but again when you're competing with the people who make them and they're selling stuff that's and they're selling at 50 cents with free shipping it's really hard to compete so that's why I really don't do a lot of anything from, I don't buy Wish anymore. And that I was, uh, wasn't doing it for reselling, it was just for myself. But I definitely um, really avoid Ally Express. I believe this one was from Wish as well. A Growing Pains number two, the same thing. I had it to where it covered the shipping and I took it off and somebody bought it. So I had to send out four orders this past week where, you know, they just ate into the money and I didn't make any money off it. I, I paid the person to take it. Don't worry, y'all. So the next one is makeup. I think the, the, the one on the left is the Kat Von D. It was some kind of like eye or body stuff. I bought it a while ago thinking I'm gonna be cute and I never used it. So it was sealed, still in the box. And then this Outlast, these were when Bed Bath & Beyond, for a while, I'm not sure if they do it anymore, decided they were going to sell makeup. Apologize, my foot's starting to fall asleep. They decided that they were going to sell makeup. And I'm not sure if they still do, and it just wasn't a good thing for them. So they had a bunch of makeup on sale.
years ago for 75% off. So I've got a whole bunch of them. I've sold, I've given them away. I've used some. And then they're just sitting around. So I said, well, let me just double check. Yes, it's sealed. It's brand new. And now you've been selling. And part of the reason why I'm able to get a little bit, I'm not sure if this is how much they cost anymore. Or I don't even know what how I came up with those numbers. Not check comps. I came up with the numbers somehow. But um, a lot of times they're discontinued. So. That actually helps out. And then the Kat Von D, I want to say I might have took an offer. The guy listed it for 24 and I think I, I sold it for 18 How much I paid for that years ago, I couldn't tell you. I, I honestly couldn't tell you how much I paid. I'd have to go through my Sephora account and find out when it is. These two was off the very first liquidation site that I had bought anything off of. And I don't even, uh, I don't want to say the, the wrong one. So I'm going to wait until I do some sort of video to talk about it. It was, oof. Mm. it basically, it was, some of the items were spot on perfect. And then I had, I think I ordered five different boxes. I sent back three of them. Like I may have kept no, I think I ordered six. I sent back three and kept three. And these were in there. And they took a while to sell. The problem with things like these is that they can be bought in store. And when they're bought in the store, they're $4. Right? So how in the world do you make it a little bit better? You, you, you sometimes will put them together, like buy two, because honestly, between the first and the second one, the shipping cost isn't that much. It's that first, it's that first item. And that's why you see a lot of people bundling, because it's not so much that that first item is, is the second item is that it's the first item. The first item is $3.50. If I add another one, a couple more ounces on there, it's only $5, right? So it's maybe a dollar or $2 more. So a lot of people will bundle and get it out the door. I I don't I had five of them. I think I sold one or two. I gave one to my dad for Christmas and I sold the last two off. I was so glad to get rid of them darn gone things. <laughs> Growing pains number five. This DVD was in a lot that I had. It was like pick your own library and such. And I had made a list of all the DVDs that were in there. And I thought I had kept that list updated and I had changed things to salt when it sold. So someone bought this DVD and I'm looking all over the house and it was a terrible day because I also had, I wonder if this was a day, Friday I had a conference call at four and I had to get to the post office to close at five and, and I just did not have the time. And lo and behold, I had sold it months ago and I reached out to the buyer so I'm so sorry I sold this. Of course, I don't want to cancel. So I said, hey, here is a list of all the DVDs I have in my store. And it's probably, I don't even know how many I have, maybe 80, maybe 80, 90. Pick whichever one you want. You can pick a new one, a used one. I don't care what you want. And I'll send you one. So she picked um, King's Speech instead. So she got a brand new DVD, $15.99 versus a used one for $6.41. And but still, I, I hate that, you know, people people buy stuff because they want that. And I hate that I can't fulfill that stuff. So growing pains. These little panties. So these are Jessica Simpson panties. I got these at Macy's and Macy's. I'm not sure if your Macy's has one, but we have one in Atlanta. It's called Last Chance. It's down in the basement. It's packed full of stuff. And it is really the last chance for the last discounts. You can't use any kind of coupons or anything like that. And if you have a Macy's card, you can get points if you use your Macy's credit card. But, and I believe it's all sales are final. There's no returns. And I bought a bunch of bras and panties for $1.97. And looking back at it now, you know, I, I didn't know. I was like, oh, everyone, that's, isn't Jessica Simpson the one that I want advice from? They were just a single pair of panties. They didn't have a tag. They they have the tag that says Macy's. And then what I do is I cut off around the pricing. So it still has the tag. It says Macy's on it, but the price is cut off. Um, and so you can see it still has a tag on it. 
but you but you can't see it on there. So these were just a pair of panties. It was you know three dollars and something to ship. It was a dollar something. Not the best investment for myself. Definitely something. Don't ever pick up a random pair of panties and think you're going to sell them for anything less than a, a couple bucks. Expo markers. Um, I used to be, I, like I said, I'm a PhD researcher. So I used to be a college professor. I know, right? And I had a whole bunch of this. I had a bunch of stuff. A bunch of pens and markers. So that's often why you see like office supplies so much because that's what I bought. That's what I need it for to to do my um to do my work. And I got a bunch that were still in the package. And so I was like, let me sell them off. I think I had it listed for seven. And someone asked for six. I said, sure, why not? It might have been eight to seven. I don't quite remember. And the last one um, is this Funko Pop Alice. And this was my only sell on Facebook this week. That was, I, it was Facebook was really slow this week. And that was my only sell. And I sold her off for 10 um, that is, unfortunately, Funkos, the, the whole trend of them have really, they're just oversaturated. 10 to 15 is about, if you're doing, if you can get 15 bucks, 10 to 15, it's Facebook, so it's a little bit cheaper on, on the things, on the fees. So I do price Facebook a little bit lower than I do on eBay. But that's it. So that's all I have. I'm on slide 15. says I'm going to be at the end. And that's it. That's what I have. I still talk too long. Still was 30 minutes. So hopefully you like this different format a little bit better. If you do like this content and you're interested in things I have to offer, um, if you want to see more realness, like no one, you know, not just telling you, hey, this is, I sold a whole bunch of stuff and everything was great. I'll tell you, you know, I messed up. Don't do this. So you won't do it as well because everybody messes up and I want to show you truly what it's like, the good and the bad, because it just, it just happens. Some weeks it's great. Other weeks you'll have four or five orders that you mess up on. But anyways, if you like it, give this a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Have you ever made any mistakes? Um, how is your, how is your salesman going? Is April being pretty good to you? or not uh what would you have done instead you know if you would you have canceled would you have said you know what top raider isn't enough for me i don't i would rather just go ahead and cancel but anyway subscribe to my channel if you like it give me a thumbs up put on the notification if you would like to get notified when i get another channel go another give another video out all right as you can tell by my voice i'm tired it's been a long day and I'm ready to go to bed. And I hope you have a good evening and happy um, April. Bye.